Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. This is the weekly roadmap update video in which I break down the changes from last week as the devs continue to work on the quarterly patches. With Alpha 3.3 on open PTU for many, the devs will be beavering away right now trying to fix as many of the bugs as possible getting it more stable to begin opening it to everyone else. So attention is now on 3.3.5 as well, which is the Hurston and Lawville patch. But kicking off with 3.3, let's take a look at what progress has been made there. Now, as we all know from last week, all the character assets and locations in 3.3 are complete and in polishing. For gameplay, the shipboard scanning and ping and the group system improvements are now complete as well and moved into polishing. The only one that is left is the improvements to turrets, which is at 20 out of 21. So there's only one more task remaining for turrets. And I can say for my experience in 3.3, turrets are definitely, definitely a lot better and easier to hit targets. For AI, the multiple enemy combat behaviors was the only part not complete. That is also now complete and getting polished. This is how the AI combatants will search for you and react to circumstances together, for example, target coordination between the AI and suppressive fire for flanking, so quite important. Now for ships and vehicles, last week the only remaining ship left to complete was the Constellation Phoenix. That is now done, it is getting polished, it is in-game and it looks phenomenal. For core tech, object container streaming as a whole is still at 5 out of 15. There is also no change to background spawning which is at 193 out of 198. So there's only really 5 to go there. Asynchronous background spawning is at 37 out of 38 tasks. So there's again only one left to be completed. For the code conversion, they've also completed one that is now at 71 out of 79. And then general performance optimization is at 23 out of 44. So they have added one task, but also completed one from last week. After watching that CitizenCon demo, there is a lot of hype uh, for getting Hurston and Lawville out, especially in my eyes. So moving on to 3.3.5 in locations, the Hurston planet is at 75 out of 89. The Lawville landing zone is at 196 out of 229. So they have completed seven tasks on Lawville, but they've added a further 19. And then finally for 3.3.5, no fly zones are now complete and also in polishing. So it is literally just waiting on the, the planet and Lawville itself. 3.3 is pretty much done now. Obviously, the PTU is going to be buggy. It is a test universe. It is not the live build. That should be following soon as well. Be sure to follow me over on Twitter and join my Discord. This is a great way to find out when things do get released, as I often post it and other people in my Discord do let me know what is going on as well. The links to those are both below. Personally, 3.3 doesn't feel much different to 3.2. We are getting better frames. A lot of us are getting better frames. There are new ships, there's the truck stop, looks really cool, but currently the VoIP and FOIP system do not work. Rico Bataglia, mission giver, is not really working either. I personally am really waiting for the release of 3.3.5. Getting a whole new planet, four moons and everything else that comes with it is where my hype is at the moment. But with that said, the planet and Lawville are coming along very, very well. And I'm hoping they release 3.3.5 to the Eva Cottage sometime in the next couple of weeks. It does feel like it's going to be more imminent then later. But until then, be sure to follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan. I stream four to five days a week and with 3.3 out, expect to see the majority of streams of me playing that. The link again is below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I've already got three 3.3 videos out released looking at the new ships. I may even bring back this Let's Play series that I started in 3.2, mainly because 3.2 became unstable. I stopped playing it, so 3.3 is better. But if you do want to support my channel further, Follow the link to my Patreon page, it is much appreciated. Big, big thank you to all my current patrons for your support. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time.